What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about the top five squeeze stocks to add to your watch list for this upcoming week. So I'm going to go over all that, but first, make sure I hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off with data points, there's two things to watch for for this upcoming week. Thursday, GDP numbers on March the 28th, and then on the 29th, on Friday, PCE. Aside from that, it is going to be a very technical-driven week. And plus, looking at the fear and greed index, it is at 72. So people's appetite for risk is going to be up there. So a lot of spec stocks as being heavily shorted could stand to benefit off of the positive momentum. And then aside from that, though, when it comes down to companies unveiling their earnings the only one that might disrupt the i guess squeeze stock sector if that's even a sector is gamestop only because of who is shorting gamestop if gamestop comes out with better than anticipated earnings then shorts might close out some of their positions and to mitigate some risk they will kind of reduce it across the board so once again really helping a lot of the other squeeze stocks such as i'm going to talk on when it comes to this upcoming week though i'm going to be going based on off of short score as well as having only companies with a market cap below 1 billion because I have found over the last month month and a half stocks that have squeezed are usually a low floaters and B typically ones that have a market cap less than 1 billion so I do feel like that's kind of the more likely option of anything so just let me know your thoughts on that starting off with stock number five that is beam global tickers b-e-e-m and so over the last one year down 54 percent 2024 down 5.92 percent so not all that bad market cap is 94.94 million this is what they do so you can pause it and read through it as far as seasonality historically over the last 10 years it is up in march 6.8 percent so that could once again really help uh, let me know your thoughts on that and one thing i just wanted to mention as well a lot of these stocks have been vetted to ensure that they have not done any recent reverse stock splits because that does typically skew a lot of the numbers behind the scenes with ortex so in beams case you can kind of see they've done two one in 2010 one in 2019 so nothing recent to kind of skew ortex also on a side note if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information such as reverse stock split kind of history SEC filings, press releases, everything under the sun that you need to make yourself a better investor. Take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium for a seven day free trial. It's definitely very advantageous to so take advantage of that. As far as what the data is saying, so short score is 92.67. The higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening. And that short score number is comprised based off of several different things. One is utilization, the number of shares being shorted, cost to borrow, kind of a lot of the key metrics. So utilization is 94.18 on Friday shorts did return two or three thousand shares so kind of a drop in the bucket but 13.03 percent of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 1.58 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is 69.75 percent as well and just to quickly go over here like I said with this upcoming week it is going to be a technical driven week and right now it's especially based on Friday and beam going down that 4.44 percent it didn't really help so it did transition from the higher to the lower percentile of the boiling band and also did break that 50-day moving average so beam isn't really doing all that well you do see a bearish deviation as well on the stochastic number of retail investors have been maintaining themselves so all in all the technicals for this company isn't really looking the best but of course i went based off of short score and so right now this is stock number five moving on to stock number four so this one is the line electric company this one has been on my list in the past but tickers lev on friday went down 2.99 percent over the last one year down 30.85 percent and this is the overall for 2024 which hasn't been all that great down 26.55 percent this is what they do and as far as seasonality historically over the last three years it is down 10.5 percent in march data point wise short score is 94.62 utilization is 89.79 also on a side note if you do want any kind of breakdown on what utilization means or what any of this means let me know in the comments below but aside from that shorts did increase about 57,000 shares on friday 15.82 percent of the free flow is being shorted and that works out to be 6.55 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is 31.7 based on the technical 
This one isn't really looking all that great in March. It has been so far very much slaughtered, a uh, lower percentile of the boiling band, but it has been wanting to break out. You can kind of see that on, what was it, Thursday? Friday was more of a consolidation. So going into next week, you could see another attempt at transitioning into the higher. So that could really push it to maybe a dollar fifty if it does get above that. So all in all, this technicals are looking a little bit more optimistic than beams but still somewhat negative. You do see a bullish deviation right here. So the white line above the red and number of retail investors have been buying the dip essentially with this company. So that's kind of a good thing. Moving on to stock number three. So this one is ticker CURV toward holdings. Market cap is 463.26 million. Over the last one year, it has done fairly good. So up 89.36%. 2024 though, um, as a entirety down 22.88%. This is what they do right here. So apparel retail, but essentially based on the data, short score is 90 86.45% utilization is 82.58 20.86% of the freight flow is being shorted and that works out to be 2.01 million shares shorts didn't do all that much increased about 3,000 shares so that's kind of a drop in the bucket and then cost to borrow average is 70.05 and looking on the technicals so this one is still similar to ticker LEV it is looking a lot more optimistic so it has been slaughtered over the last little bit but it is fighting back and so on Friday it did successfully transition from the lower to the higher percentile of the boiling band but look at all the crazy resistance so it did successfully get over this resistance level there's the 100 and then the 50 day moving average as well so it definitely does have a lot of fight ahead of it but essentially it could do it um, definitely so let me know your thoughts on that based on the volume as well it is getting the interest of larger institutions as well as retail as you can kind of see right here so this one definitely could be a very big fighter for this upcoming week moving on to stock number two desktop metal tickers dm and so on friday it went down negative 0.62 percent and over the last one year down 64.57 2024 it's been flat but as far as what they do, again, just pause it and read through this. Seasonality, um, over the last four years, it is up 9.5% in March. So March seems to be, and January seems to be their kind of best months, essentially. So that might be something to consider as far as a long-term investment. But short score is 97.77. Utilization is 89.92. 28.55% of the free flow is being shorted. And that works out to be 67 million shares. Shorts did increase 777,000 shares. So kind of lucky. I don't know if you want to take it like that. But cost to borrow average is 35.49. And as far as the technicals go, this is looking fairly good. So it is above a lot of the key pivotal moving averages. Higher percentile of the boiling band. So all in in all it is going to really benefit from for instance the greed that is out there so this stock definitely is going to be a good one to watch and add to your watch list for this upcoming week but looking at stochastic you can see that there is no defined trend but it is considered somewhat overbought so just kind of consider that because the first sign of weakness you are going to see a pretty significant reset in some of the technicals and so that might cause a pull down to possibly that 100 day moving average and and if that doesn't hold, then it'll be that central boiling band. So around 64 cents. So again, just be aware of that. But retail has been buying the dip, and you can see that based on the momentum indicator. And moving on to stock number one. So this one is Danimer Scientific, ticker DNMR. On Friday, went down 5%. Over the last one year, down 39.36%. And in 2024, up 11.76%. This is what they do, and seasonality in March seems to be another good month, up 26.7%. Same goes for January. So all in all, pretty interesting stuff. Short score is 99. So that is the highest in the market right now. Utilization is 84.85. On Friday, shorts did return about 16,000 shares. 24.4% of the free flow is being shorted. And that works out to be 22.08 million shares. And then cost of borrow average is 40.85%. Based off of the technicals, this one did recently show a lot of signs of weakness. So it did transition from the higher to the lower percentile 
percentile of the boiling band right here. But luckily enough, that 100 day moving average has been the saving grace. So that's kind of been holding it up essentially. So going into this upcoming week, you should see a nice kind of push higher um, with it bouncing off of this. But again, if it does break below that, then it'll kind of just be wedge bound between that 50 and 100 day moving average until GDP numbers do come out. And based on the actual chart, it is considered very oversold. You do see a very minor deviation, bearish deviation. So red line above the white A number of retail investors have been getting out and taking profits from this company. So let me know your thoughts on those stocks. Is there any other stocks that you feel like is uh, a candidate for a short squeeze and potentially? Potentially why so let me know in the comments below don't forget to hit that thumbs up and one final thing make sure you guys take advantage of this promo simply sign up for an account with Moomoo throw $100 at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to $2,000 this one is only up until March the 31st so it is going to be ending fairly soon so take advantage of this with all that said appreciate all of you watching